Hello, we are at the Barnsley County Fair and I am joined today by mayoral candidate, Tom Kennedy. Bush Kennedy. Oh, I, I apologize for that. Um, Tom Bush Kennedy. No relation. I'm to which? Neither. Well, I don't think the, the people would have Anyway, um, we're with mayoral candidate Tom Bush Kennedy. The third. The third. Mm -hmm. The third. Uh, who is running for mayor of our proud town of Barnsley. He is the challenger to the incumbent mayor, Mr. Milston. Uh, Mr. Bush Kennedy, the biggest issue in this race in Barnsley today is the closing of Frank's Fish and Tackle on Maine. What uh, would be your plans to manage the effects that that would have on our town's conservation efforts? Well, the damage my opponent has done to the bird and fish population of this town has been devastating. This, this mayor is completely out of touch with the people. Maybe Mayor Mr. Milson doesn't need a Frank's Fish and Tackle on Maine, but the people do. Under a Bush Candy administration, we're going to right this ship. We need to get back to the table and start talking about a conversation. We need to put a plan in place to take some action at some point. At some point? Yeah. Yes, uh, well, <laughs> well, I'm not going to take up all of your time here at the fair today. I know you're a very busy man. Um, uh, I do have to ask, you are billing yourself as the, uh, the people's candidate. Um, can you tell me exactly what that means? Well, I'm the candidate of people. For the people and of the people. For the rich people, the poor people. For all the people with two legs. Or, or one leg. You can have one leg. Or or no legs, or, or those legs don't have to work. The point is that I am, I am the peop, people human candidate. Great, excellent. The people human candidate. Uh, well, it has been lovely getting to know you today, Tom. Um, uh, that was mayoral candidate, Mr. Tom Bush Kennedy III. It's doctor, actually. Dr. Tom Bush Kennedy III. Third. The third, I got it this time. Thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Emily, Richard. Um, I'm going to stick around the fair for a little while, and I'm going to see if I can interview some locals and find out what they think about this mayoral race. But uh, before I do that, I want to tell you, Emily, you're going to be so very jealous when you find out what I just did. I just had some of May Doddard's famous cobbler, and I have to tell you, it might be the best batch yet. So uh, be jealous. Anyway, let's see if we can find some locals and see what they have to say today. Well, I'm a local. Uh, well, uh, th uh, hi. Um, uh, thank you for, for joining me. Um, I see that you're a Bush Kennedy supporter. Uh, can you t uh, tell me why? Well, let me tell you, Missy, that mayor of ours hasn't done a lick of work. I am a part of a subreddit, and we have been tracking the hours of napping this mayor has been doing. And in his, his term, Mayor Mr. Milson has been napping 60% of his time in office. Uh, we will, we, we would have to check those numbers. Uh, no, it seems facts. high. Napgate, Napgate. I ask you, where was our mayor when this town was suffering the effects of the Rona? Hmm? Napping, that's where, and that is why I'll be voting for Dr. Tom Bush, Kennedy the third, the people candidate. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing your opinion with us today. Um, and I will check out those numbers. Thank you, sir. Um, Richard, wow, a uh, lot, of, lot of interesting people out here today. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm a little bit distracted because there is a beautiful scent coming from Dottie's Diner and her funnel cake stand, and it is absolutely intoxicating. So when you get off work, you come join me and we'll split one of those funnel cakes. Anyway, let's see who else is willing to share their opinion with us today. If we've well, got it. I'm a local. Uh, well, hello, thank you. Um, we are out here interviewing um, to see people's uh, opinions about the mayoral race. Do you have a... a an opinion. Well, I haven't paid much attention, but you know that Dr. Tom Bush Kennedy, he, well, he's just so handsome. Oh, and God, I gotta be honest, that other fellow, oh, what's his name? Oh, Mayor Mr. Mills, well, he's just so hairy. Um, I mean, I'm just saying, well, gotta go see the fair. to Emily, I, I can't I can't be sure, but I am 90% sure that that was actually Tom. I'm that was okay, just... Okay. Well, I am a local. No, now I'm sure. Tom, 
No, um, my name is Patrick O'Henry Bushnell's Jameson the third. The third. The third. The third. Uh, Tom, we know it's you. Oh no, I just moved the time. First generation. Proud to be here. I, I, I. Tom. Yay. Hi. Hi. I am on a heavy dose of Dayquil, which is prescribed, unlike my opponent, who has been tripping balls on the grass. That is a ridiculous accusation, and I, do you have any proof of it? Yes, I do, and I will be presenting irrefutable and overwhelming evidence at this at a, at a press conference this coming Wednesday, and, and I will be vindicated. Also, I have evidence that he has been shredding documents and furniture, that he that he is standoffish, and, 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 and he licks his butt. Tom, he's a cat. That's a dog's whistle. It's not a dog whistle. Do you even know what a dog whistle is? Yes, I do, and the people can hear it. All right, I'm sorry. This this interview is over. Thank you. Uh, I, um, I have to say, you are the most ridiculous candidate that I have ever interviewed. And last week, I interviewed a cat, so the bar's pretty low. Um, while this station does not endorse one candidate or another, I can say without hesitation that this Tuesday, I will be voting for a cat, of which I am highly allergic. <laughs> Is your name even Tom? Absolutely. Where did you find this guy?